Right now, there is no choice but to learn an operating system. So which operating system to learn? We have Mac OS, we have Windows, we have Linux, and which distro in Linux? This is what we are going to discuss in this video, irrespective of what's your aspiration into IT, or which field you are in right now, or which field you are branching into or establishing a career into right now. Please consider subscribing to the channel to get similar videos that are going to be awakening and also will raise the awareness about IT professions, the hot skills and what to do in order to get into one of these branches. Consider giving us a like and share if you like the video and find it beneficial to reach more people and to benefit as many people as possible. So which operating system to learn and do I have to learn an operating system now being in AI or machine learning or data science or cybersecurity or development or cloud or DevOps. I mean, there are so many different fields or branches into IT right now and a lot of them are extremely hot. So should I learn an operating system? And if yes, then which operating system? And if yes, also, why should I learn an operating system? So this is what we're going to discuss now. What I have done is what I usually do, use AI to go and scan the internet and get me the summary results. And that's what I'm going to present to you right now. So here's the question that I have posted to ChatGPT. Should the beginners in IT aiming at cloud, DevOps, machine learning, machine learning ops, AI, cybersecurity, learn an operating system? Of course, when I'm saying beginners, this is assuming that you are shifting career or establishing a career, but it also applies if you are in one of the branches that you started maybe in a branch of IT, let's say the networking, for example, or storage. You started like, let's say 15, 20 years ago, but now you would like to move into one of the hot branches of IT that pay much better. And also they have way more opportunities compared to your traditional IT job. So should they learn? and which one, which operating system, and Linux or Windows should be given priority. So very clear questions, and I think these are common questions, and maybe they are already revolving in your mind. So the answer was yes, beginners in IT at cloud, or DevOps, or machine learning, or MLOps, or AI, or cybersecurity, development included for sure, should absolutely learn an operating system. And between Linux and Windows, Linux should be given clear priority for several strong reasons. Let's go through them. First of all, why you need to learn an OS and you need to do this right now. So don't go for your full AI and full data science and full cloud and full DevOps and full ML ops. Think that you can learn them and master them without mastering an operating system. This is not going to be the optimum. This is not going to yield the best results. And I think this is what you are aiming at, getting the best results out of your effort, getting the best and the highest return on investment. So why you need to learn an OS? Everything in technology right now runs on some operating system. Understanding it, the operating system will help you build, debug, automate, and secure things properly. Many core tools, this is where we are coming to the recent or the hot skills and branches in IT. Many tools in DevOps, in machine learning ops, in AI, and cybersecurity are designed to run in or with deep integration into an OS environment. Okay, so operating system is a must and we have to have the skills. Now, the most famous question, Linux or Windows, which one should I learn? If you ask someone that has been in IT for like 30 years and has been into Microsoft Server Administration, Active Domain, and was in a Microsoft shop, the obvious answer or the guaranteed answer would be learn Windows for sure. Windows Server Administration is the way to go. A lot of the academies that are training in IT are still pushing for that, especially in the third world countries and in the developing countries. So now, the reality is different. Why Linux should be given priority and why you have to learn Linux right now and that would be your first operating system of choice when it comes to learning for your IT career. There are so many reasons. 
Industry standard in cloud and DevOps. That's number one. What's the explanation? Most cloud services, AWS or Google or Azure, use Linux VMs by default. Docker containers and Kubernetes nodes typically run on Linux. I'm not saying they cannot run on Windows. They can, but they are built natively to run on Linux. Machine learning and MLOps development tools. That's the second reason. TensorFlow, PyTorch, Docker, Jupyter, and machine learning pipelines are more easily run and supported on Linux. So if you are in one of these jobs, you will want to know Linux very well, at least to the job level. You don't have to be the master of Linux, but you need to learn how to use Linux perfectly to facilitate your job or enough to facilitate your job. Cybersecurity and penetration testing. Tools like Wireshark, Metasploit, Nmap, and Kali Linux are Linux native learning. Linux is mandatory in this field. Scripting and automation. Bash, cron jobs, shell scripting. Key skills for automation are Linux centric. Servers and infrastructure. The majority of web servers and backend infrastructures right now, they run on Linux not on Windows. Open source ecosystem. Most open source projects and communities use Linux because Linux itself is open source. Now, one would ask, okay, but what about Windows? So when it comes to Windows, it's still useful, not a must, not mandatory. To understand Windows basics, especially for roles interacting with enterprise environments. So it is useful, if you are going to work as a server administrator or IT support in a company supporting servers and desktop users and all that. But Windows should come after you have developed a solid foundation in Linux because Linux will pave the way for you to master machine learning, AI, cloud, DevOps, cybersecurity, and MLOps, the hot skills, the jobs that are paying immensely compared to the traditional ones network and server administration and so on. So the recommended path, please start with Linux basics. Learn shell commands, file system, permissions, and networking. Practice on Ubuntu, which is the most beginner friendly one, or try Kali Linux if you are going to head into cybersecurity. Use Windows subsystem for Linux or a cloud VM. I personally recommend that you start an account in your preferred cloud provider and try to start a VM, this is going to look like or very similar to what you will see in your job. And if you have any problems and you troubleshoot, now you are building experience that you are going to replicate and reuse. Understand CLI and shell scripting. Bash scripting is essential for automation, especially for DevOps, MLOps, and automation. And explore Windows as a secondary focus. As a secondary focus, Windows comes after Linux, not before Linux and not at the same priority as Linux, especially if your organization or target job involves Windows environments. Please don't plan for Windows environments. Server administration jobs are not going to pay you the highest and they are considered traditional. There are so many people from the legacy traditional IT 20, 30 years now in IT, they are going to be competing on every single job because if it pays even a thousand dollars more a month, they're going to be competing with you on that one. So why, why get into professions or specialties where the supply is way, way, way more than the demand? So Linux obviously is the way to go. Start with a Linux for beginners course. If you are new to IT, the, the fastest job that you can apply to would be a junior Linux administrator. Think about the RHCSA, the Red Hat Certified System Administrator. That is the most widely recognized or number one recognized Linux certificate that will teach you Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And with that, you can have an entry job so you can get your feet wet into IT. You start to understand IT while in parallel, you are building your way into machine learning or cloud or DevOps or AI or whatever. Uh, aspiration that you have into IT. So the message is learn Linux and you have to learn it right now, especially if you are starting. So get the fundamentals of IT, master Linux, and from there, 
move into your path towards the aspiration. All right. Hopefully this was beneficial. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a like and share and activate the notification so you can get all the new videos. And they are all revolve around the hot skills, what you need to learn, how can you get it, and also courses or videos about these hot skills as well. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.